we've got some truly electrifying news to share, and it's bound to make a significant impact on the lives of many low-income seniors across the nation. That's right. Folks, the IRS has just confirmed the imminent deposit of the eagerly awaited fourth stimulus checks, and they're worth a generous $2,000 each. What's more, these much-needed financial lifelines are set to begin making their way into bank accounts as early as next week. We've done our homework and have the official confirmation straight from the Internal Revenue Service regarding the distribution of these game-changing stimulus checks. We understand that eligibility criteria can be a bit complex, so we'll simplify it for you. You'll know in no time whether you or your loved ones qualify for this crucial financial aid. The big question on everyone's mind is, when will the money hit my bank account? We've got a detailed timeline to put your curiosity to rest. We'll explore the profound difference a $2,000 stimulus check can make in the lives of low-income seniors. From covering essential expenses to offering that precious sense of financial security, Governor Kate Hobbs' office has made a significant announcement that holds great promise for families in the state of Arizona. This announcement brings with it the introduction of a one-time childcare payment program that aims to provide much-needed financial relief. Under this initiative, eligible families will receive a substantial payment of $500 for each child in their care. The primary objective behind this program is to ease the financial burden that often accompanies childcare, particularly in covering registration fees. The eligibility criteria for this payment program are important to understand. It is specifically designed to benefit children who are involved with the Department of Child Safety and are actively participating in the subsidized child care program. This means that it's targeted at families who are already navigating the complexities of child care within the framework of the child welfare system. These families, who often face various challenges and financial strains, will undoubtedly find this initiative to be a much-needed source of support. What makes this development particularly noteworthy is that the payments have already begun distribution, starting during the summer months. This timely rollout underscores the urgency of providing financial assistance to families who have been grappling with childcare costs, especially in the wake of the ongoing challenges posed by the pandemic. To ensure that eligible families can access these funds without unnecessary hurdles, the governor's office has taken proactive steps. They have enlisted the assistance of DCS caseworkers and staff to guide eligible families through the process of receiving their payments. This hands-on approach is a crucial element in ensuring that those who need these funds the most can easily access them. Furthermore, this initiative in Arizona is part of a broader national conversation about universal basic income, UBI, and guaranteed income programs. While this childcare payment program may be a one-time endeavor, the concept of providing regular, fixed income to individuals and families to reduce poverty is gaining traction nationwide. Guaranteed income programs, like UBI, aim to offer financial stability and alleviate the economic challenges faced by vulnerable populations. In related news, most residents in Montana have already received their checks, signaling a positive step toward financial relief for many. However, it's essential to exercise diligence by checking your bank accounts to ensure that the correct payment has been received. Brendan Beatty, the director of Montana's Department of Revenue, underscores the importance of accuracy and efficiency in dispersing these rebates to eligible taxpayers. Therefore, recipients are encouraged to monitor their bank statements and keep an eye on their mail for these rebates ensuring that they receive the financial support they are entitled to during these trying times. Montana's tax collection for the year 2021 unexpectedly exceeded their financial projections, resulting in a surplus of funds. Now, you might be wondering how such a surplus could occur. The answer lies in the unprecedented economic changes brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly during the lockdowns of 2020. These changes had far-reaching effects on the economy, causing states like Montana to collect more tax revenue than originally anticipated. Governor Greg John Forte, a Republican, took a bold stance in addressing this surplus. His decision to channel these surplus funds back to the residents who contributed to it through their taxes is a testament to responsible governance. In his words, the move reflects the understanding that Montanans had, in essence, overpaid their taxes, and he is determined to rectify this by ensuring the money finds its way back into the pockets of the hardworking citizens who helped generate it. This commitment to fiscal responsibility and a citizen-centered approach is truly commendable. But the story doesn't end there. Montana residents began receiving their cash payments on July 3, turning what could have been a mere financial hiccup into a tangible benefit for the people. The cash payments aren't limited to a select few. They're accessible to a wide range of taxpayers. Single taxpayers, those married but filing separately, and heads of households are all eligible for payments of up to $1,250. Couples and joint filers, on the other hand, have the opportunity to receive even more substantial payments potentially up to $2,500. This initiative not only rectifies the surplus issue but also serves as a model of responsible fiscal management. It demonstrates that when the state finds itself with unexpected financial windfalls, 
it can take the initiative to reinvest those funds back into its citizens' lives. It's a heartening reminder that responsible governance, particularly during challenging times, can directly benefit taxpayers and their communities. The great state of Alaska has made headlines with its generous tax rebates, putting smiles on the faces of its residents this July, in an effort to acknowledge and give back to its hardworking taxpayers. Alaska's government earmarked millions of dollars for distribution to approximately 530,000 eligible taxpayers. These rebates came in varying amounts, with some lucky individuals receiving as much as $2,500, while others saw $1,250 heading their way. The eligibility criteria for these rebates added an interesting dimension to the process. To qualify, residents had to demonstrate their commitment to Alaska by having resided in the state for the entire preceding year. This requirement serves as an incentive for long-term residency, making it clear that the state values those who call Alaska home. Additionally, applicants were required to have a clean legal record, meaning they must not have been sentenced as a result of a felony or incarcerated during the same year. This criteria aims to reward law-abiding citizens and contributors to the community. For those eagerly anticipating their rebates, the eligible not paid status is the one to watch out for. This status confirms that your application has been approved and you're on your way to receiving your well-deserved financial boost. But that's not all when it comes to financial perks for Alaska residents. The state's Permanent Fund Dividend, PFD, program is another noteworthy initiative. This program ensures that Alaskans receive their share of the state's oil revenues each year. This year, the checks sent out through the PFD program were particularly impressive, with each one worth a substantial $3,284. However, there's a catch, residents must proactively apply for this payment each year to reap the benefits. It's a simple but crucial step to secure this additional financial resource, and it's well worth the effort for those who meet the eligibility criteria. Oregon, in a move that might raise eyebrows among its residents, is set to temporarily suspend rebates for electric vehicle, AV, purchases or leases for an entire year starting from May, as reported by the Associated Press. However, it's essential to understand that such policy shifts are not uncommon in the dynamic world of EV incentives. Meanwhile, for those residing in states still offering electric car incentives, 2023 introduces a set of fresh regulations that are worth noting. What's crucial to know is that not all EVs are treated equally under these new regulations. In this year, only six pure electric vehicles qualify for a full tax credit. This means that if you're driving one of these select models, you're in for some substantial savings. The fortunate six that made the cut for full tax credits in 2023 include the Cadillac Lyric, Chevrolet Bolt, Chevrolet Bolt EUV, Ford F-150 Lightning, Tesla Model 3 Performance, and the Tesla Model Y. These vehicles stand out as top contenders for maximizing EV tax benefits this year. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.